Hello and welcome to another tutorial on WordPress. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about Advisor Bridge, which is a plugin used in WordPress to connect a Moodle website with the WordPress website. This is specially used for an educational website. For that, we will go to Plugins, Installed Plugins. And in the list of plugins, when you scroll down, you will see Advisor Bridge and here you get the option for settings. Either you can click it from here or else on the left side bar in the dashboard, you will see an option, a menu option for Advisor Bridge. Here, go to settings under Advisor Bridge. Once you have installed and activated it, you will get an option to download a Moodle plugin. This is required, so download that Moodle plugin. Now, under the general tab, you have all these options. Enable user registration. User account. Page is user account. Select role as subscriber. Select the language. Redirect to my courses page, yes. Erase associated Moodle data from Moodle site, yes. Privacy policy, check. Notify admin, no. And allow usage tracking, no. Save changes. Once this is done, we will go to the Moodle site. And when you have logged into your admin account, go to site administration. From Site Administration, go to Plugins, Install Plugin. Now you need to install the plugin that you downloaded for Moodle. Choose File, Choose File, select the Moodle plugin that you downloaded for Advisor Bridge and upload this file. Install plugin from the zip file. Continue, scroll down, continue, upgrade Moodle database now, continue, save changes. Now from the right side bar, again go back to plugins, here you will see an option for advisor bridge. Click on Settings. These are the settings for Advisor Bridge. Check REST, Protocol, Web Services enabled, yes. Allow extended characters in usernames, yes. And save and continue. Now we do not have an existing web service for this, so we will create a new web service. Give it a name. Select the user that should be the administrator of the Moodle site. The email ID of the admin and click on create web service. Here you see you get the site URL and the token. So copy, copy the site URL. Click to copy and save it. Copy the token as well. Click to copy and then save it. I have saved it on a notepad. Next, click on next, leave. Site name of the WordPress site. Here you have to enter the WordPress site the WordPress URL, the access token that you just saved. We cannot test connection because we've not added the details in the WordPress site as of now. So save and continue. 
check all of these functionalities that you want to enroll, unenroll, create and delete users. Save and continue. Now all these have been enabled. Go back to your WordPress site, click on connection settings. When you go to connection settings, it will ask for Moodle URL. That is the URL that you saved. Let us enter the token first. Then the URL of the Moodle site. Click on test connection. Connection successful, save changes. Now go to synchronization. Here, check the options for under courses, synchronize courses, synchronize course categories, update previously synchronized courses, keep synchronized courses as draft, and start synchronization. It is successful. Click on users. Now synchronize the users as well. Next is the PayPal settings. When you go to the PayPal settings option, you will have to enter all of the details related to your PayPal account and the API key, the API username, password and signature that come with the business account on PayPal. So you can link your PayPal account here. Go to courses. Here you will see that there is a draft that has been created of the course that was there in Moodle. Now it is here in WordPress as a draft. What we need to do is we need to go through it, check the details. This is the description that was given in Moodle and allow comments yes now here you see that there is a course price type here you get three options free paid or closed when you choose paid you will have to enter the course price in the currency that has been defined when you choose closed that means there is an optional URL. This URL has to be the URL of the product. If you use the premium extension of WooCommerce integration, then automatically when, when you synchronize, you will be able to create products out of the courses. So you can enter that URL here. Now we see the expired access. You can specify the duration for which the access will be given to the user once they register for the course. Let's say I'll keep the course for free and publish. The course has been published successfully. Now go to pages, all pages. Here you will see a courses page has been created. When you click on edit, you will see a short code that has been added by advisor bridge here. Here is the short code of the advisor bridge because this is the archive page where all the courses will be listed. Let's go back. Then there is another page user account, which we will use for login. So we'll go to the menus under appearance. Choose the primary menu, select. From the left side, check courses, add to menu. Reorder the page. Next, user account. Add to menu. Click on the down arrow and change the navigation label to login. 
it can be login slash register or only login the original means the actual page that we are using is the user account but the navigation label is login save menu let's go and check it now here you see there is a courses option where it is showing the course that has been imported from Moodle. We have a sidebar which we do not want so we will go to all pages. Edit courses page. On the right side you will see page attributes. Under template, choose full width, contained, content. Update, refresh, the courses page and the sidebar is gone. Let us try to register for the course. So here I am, I'm clicking on login. Here I am going to say don't have an account. Register and I will add the first name and last name and email. Register. And I have got access to the course. When I go to courses, click on course. It shows access course in place of take this course and you are redirected to the Moodle site. So this is how you can install the Advisor Bridge plugin on the WordPress and Moodle site and link them together. If you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.